Hello everyone. I'm building a kitchen table. I'm just going to my backyard for some lumber. These are just typical 2x6s from Home Depot. So now this is a jointing sled, which is entirely too small for what I'm trying to do here. But I have not figured that out yet. Right about here I realized this was not going to work, so off camera I built a larger one, which you see right here. Now what this allows me to do is to get a completely flush and level surface along one side. And once I have that one side, I can reference it to get the other three sides. So I'm just repeating this with all the other boards. And here you can see how flush and level that is down the entire length of the board. And then it's on to the planer. A little more planing. Lots of planing. And here I'm marking off these two boards as if they were one. And I'll reference these lines in just a moment. So here I am referencing those lines. I'm using a drill guide. And I'm drilling holes along all these lines, which I will use to insert dowels in just a second. So here I am doing the other side. Adding glue. Here I am hammering in the dowels. Now this doesn't necessarily add any strength, it's just going to help me keep the boards aligned during glue up. So adding some glue, more glue, and then you'll see how they snap together just like that. And then you just add clamps up the entire length and wait for the glue to dry. And then here I am repeating the process with the other boards. Now this one didn't really pop together quite so nice, but I just kept adding pressure with the clamps back and forth. And then I use a mallet to kind of knock it into place. And you'll see it pop together right here. There it goes. Those are the finished boards. There's four of these pieces. Just waiting for glue to dry. Now the clamps are coming off. And the next step is to go back through the planer for a few passes. Now here I am using the same technique to join these boards. So dowels going in, glue, and then everything gets clamped up. I'm just removing some glue squeeze out right there with a hand plane. Now I'm adding a roundover to the top edge of the table. This is a water-based dye rather than a stain, which should look a little more natural in the finished product. It looks terrible right now, but there's no finish on it yet. I'm masking off the side. I'm going to fill that hole with some epoxy resin. So here I am mixing up the resin. And once this is cured, you won't even be able to tell that it's there. Now this project went on hiatus for about three months. I went through the summer, the fall, and the rain season here in Northern California, and the humidity just destroyed this tabletop. So here I am Christmas morning, sanding off all my work. I'm not necessarily starting at zero, but definitely set me back a little bit. So just sanding, sanding, more sanding, and then here I am dyeing the wood again. So 
So here I'm masking off the bottom with some Tyvek tape. And this is just preparing the tabletop to get its uh, epoxy coating. So here's the tabletop epoxy. Mix, mix, mix. And then we'll add this in one large flood coat right here. So this is allegedly self-leveling, but you really got to help it along. So just spread it, coat the whole thing, and get it as nice and even as level as you can. I'm using a torch right here to pop surface bubbles. And then here it is about a month later. Uh, I'm just wiping off all the dust that's accumulated. And then more sanding. I sanded from 800 grit all the way up to 3000. I did not film that because it looks exactly the same. So the next step is to buff and polish. So here it is after it's been sanded, uh, getting polished. That's kind of the beauty shot right there. I'm just wiping off the excess polish. Look how shiny that is. And then you see all those little drops along the bottom there. Uh, where the resin poured over. Uh, I'm just going to take a router with a flush cut bit and trim all that off. You see me doing that right here. Here's my wife helping me carry it inside. And I decided just to leave that tape on there. No one's going to see the bottom and it should probably protect it from the elements. I'm just trying to line it up, drilling some pilot holes, adding the screws, and I used the table legs and runners from the previous table that we had. They were still in pretty good condition. Now I'm just adding a little furniture polish. setting the table. You can see the baby in the background there. And there's the finished shot. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone's staying safe right now.